Well, as we stand right next to the India flag out here in Davos for the World Economic Forum and at the Congress Hall, which is right there next to me, we have a lady who's really the sun rays of uh, <laughs> India when you talk about gender. And I say that because it took till 2017 for the CII to ensure that there's a woman president. And she was the first. Shobra Kamanini, thank you so much for speaking to NDTV. As you know, this time, seven co-chairs, all women. Uh, it's a big statement that's being made out by the World Economic Forum about gender rights. Uh, you're just the apt person to speak about it. And I will get to Apollo and business and all of that, but I want to start by talking to you about that. What do you make of the seven co-chairs being all women? Do you feel that buzz about women's rights? And do you believe that India is at also moving in absolutely the right direction? Or there's a lot that's still left to be done? There's always a lot that's left to be done. Hmm. So, you know, let's push that <laughs> and celebrate the moment now. Uh, being here in Davos uh, with seven co-chairs, I heard them yesterday. I think that was one of the best panels I attended yes. because you could he you could see that they're lucid, uh, they have a clear point of view, and they've been in the trenches. I think that's what women, you know, everywhere have done. Uh, do you believe that you've also been in the trenches? Pretty much. Yeah. I did come up with a, from a 400 rupee salary to where I am now, Fantastic. and uh, <laughs> and and I think that representing industry, definitely it comes from you know this. Uh, from the trenches, so yeah. that that's a lot of women's stories out there. Okay, uh, Christine Lagarde, uh, Chetna Sinha, two co-chairs, one of them from India, yeah. uh, both told NDTV in as many words. They weren't. They were slightly concerned why the prime minister's speech, 45 minutes, didn't include gender at a time when Davos 2018 is focusing on gender. You know, I think that the the prime minister has so much on his mind. Yeah. Uh, and and um, it's not like he's not doing it. There's action on the ground. So anyone who looks deeper at India... You see that action? Do you believe in that action? Um, I think that, you know, he's creating diff different platforms and mm -hmm. he hasn't left women out. Uh, there's always more that needs to be done. But I cannot say that, that this subject is ignored in India. It's just that I think that we need to look at it from corporate India needs to do more. We need to work uh, against, uh, for gender parity, we need to work at it on a state level, rural, urban, rich, poor, across sectors, everybody needs to. So it's not just one person, you know. Of course, he headlines it. And him not doing it in Davos, I don't put anything against him for that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, about the Prime Minister again, the speech, it's been a day since that happened. What is your takeaway? Uh, because now you've had time to get responses, feedback, thoughts of global CEOs, politicians, uh, influencers, shapers. What is your thought on his speech? Did he make the dent? And I've been asking this question that uh, for a while. Did he make the dent that India needed to make when it says India means business? So he, uh, I think that it was a solid speech, uh, and and I think that the global reaction is this is what I heard from global CEOs saying that solid. He made his points, and it's really about ease of doing business. Mm -hmm. This is the important thing in India. It's about states, mm -hmm. um, and and it's about India everywhere being a global presence. Mm -hmm. And just being open to the world, that we're inviting the world in, but we also expect reciprocity that we can be in many parts of the globe. As you walk down this promenade, yes. you'll find every big Indian company is, a, is represented here. Yeah. You're feeling That's that buzz about it. Good India. feeling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, 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 interesting, that is interesting. But final question for you. A budget is around the corner. What do you hope to see? Um, if I was given three wishes, I would say... <laughs> Uh, re reduction in corporate taxes because uh, we've widened the tax base, so let's make use of it. Despite uh, the inequalities uh, report from Oxfam? You know, this is something that uh, we have to make all boats rise. Okay. So I believe that uh, that everyone, when, they, when they're doing well and they're, when they're being given a chance, and I like the fact that the GST is moving in the right direction, that they will, you know, income from that will start coming in. So with that hope, we need to be in a competitive atmosphere okay, like the rest. Ten ASEAN countries coming yes, to India absolutely. tomorrow, yes, you yes. know, and, and all of them have lower taxes than us. So we should be leading that 
brigade and the of other getting two wishes. business. The other two wishes. Uh, the, the other two wishes, I would like to see something being done for healthcare. I think it's a sector that is largely being ignored, and we do need health for, for everyone. Even by the Prime Minister, you, you're saying it's being ignored? Uh, he spoke about it at the ending, but mm. I would like to see actual more action behind what's what's going to happen. And uh, and I do think there's a place for private health care and for universal health coverage. Okay. Both need to be taken care of to push this industry. It'll And, and the third thing is, anything that is, that is job creating is good for India. Okay. All right. Thank you.